Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Let us discuss about startup and commissioning procedures on some of the rotating equipment. First of all, what is startup and what is commissioning? Now, startup and commissioning is done when an equipment is newly installed. If you could remember that we discussed in the, in the rotating uh, introduction to maintenance that there are three stages in the life of a equipment in industries or whenever you use an equipment there are three stages one is uh, install manufacturing and installation it is manufacturing in the companies and supplied and installed then it is ha it has a normal life then it uh, it's uh, you, you know the life ends of the equipment start starts to fail there are these three stages in the equipment's life now in the manufacturing stage it is being manufactured with uh, uh, specifications and then supplied now in installation comes the startup and commissioning while installing a new equipment you have to do startup and commissioning procedures so that it runs smoothly throughout its normal life if you fail to do a proper startup and commissioning of any equipment the equipment will not work for long period of time now let us discuss about pumps now there are procedures that are step by step i try to explain you the best i could first one is final final check before starting the pump okay here is the list you need to do this uh, checklist every procedure will have checklist in companies don't worry you don't have to remember anything from this uh, procedures only this is for your knowledge and for your understanding okay every equipment will have its own startup and commissioning procedures so final check before uh, this is the checklist you know final check before starting the pump Repo remove the cu uh, coupling guard and step guard now what you have to do is in the pump pump is always attached with a prime mover why because pump cannot rotate on its own you need to supply some rotation so this rotation can be through IC engine or motors usually this is with motors so now what uh, this procedure says here you have to remove the coupling guard which is protecting the coupling check the coupling alignment realign the coupling if required you know before starting the equipment you have to do this check the coupling alignment definitely because if you don't check it even if it is aligned you need to check it before starting so that everything is confirmed now what is the third one check the coupling and the shaft can easily rotate now you have to check it that they can rotate just rotate by your hand see by hand rotate it to check that they are rotating there is no struck obstruction inside with the uh, coupling and reinstall the coupling guard and step guard now once you check done these two things you have to reinstall the coupling guard check the distance between coupling and the coupling guard now you need to check once you install the coupling guard you need to check the distance sometimes what happened when you install the coupling guard the coupling guard touches the coupling now when the coupling rotates it will uh, uh, stuck the coupling guard and create issues in future the coupling guard must not touch the coupling the same thing which I told you the coupling guard just is for protection it should not touch the coupling so this is the checklist simple checklist I simple uh, there are many things but I simplified for you so that it's easy for your remembrance now next thing is startup now startup means when you start the equipment now here in this case we are starting a pump so to start a pump the general procedure or simplified procedure you can say is this one fully open the shut valve shut off valve in the suction head or suction lift line now you need to open the suction valve okay in the suction line the line which is uh, connected to the suction of the pump is called suction line or suction uh, lift line so this line uh, the valve should be open there is a shut a shut off valve 
near the sec uh, suction of the pump you need to open it fully now second thing is second point close or slightly open the shut off valve in the discharge line now the uh, pumps discharge it has a line which is called discharge line you need to close the valve or open slightly keep it little open okay switch on the motor now you switch on the motor immediately after the pump has reached immediately after the pump has reached full rotational speed slowly open the shut off valve in discharge line and adjust it to comply with the duty point now uh, now what you ha what you have done in the second step you have shut uh, you have uh, shut off the uh, valve you have uh, closed the valve shut off valve in discharge line now you have to after the pump is uh, come uh, comes to its uh, normal speed you need to open the discharge valve when the operating temperature has reached or in event uh, reached uh, or in event of leakage switch off the pump and let it cool down then retighten the bolts between the lantern and the casing okay now what does it says it says when the operating temperature has reached the when you reach the temperature and and there is if any there if there is any leakage or something you need to shut it down switch off the pump and let it cool and then retighten the bolts uh, between the lantern and casing in the casing you know there are casing for the coupling and the casing you need to uh, also that where there is a leak you need to find out where there is a leak and you need to uh, f uh, fix it now check the coupling alignment again and realign the coupling if required check the coupling align again and realign if required if not required it's okay and well do not restart the pump before the pump rotor has come to a standstill okay this is very important point you need to remember here is you should never restart the pump when pump is uh, like when you, you like for example let me give you one example like you switched off the pump but sometimes once once you switch, switch off it still rotates due to inertia so you should not again start it again you should wait for it to uh, set down you know should uh, rotor should come stand still we call it stand still should not rotate anymore then you start the pump commissioning pump commissioning checklist now this what is commissioning means commissioning is uh, installing analyzing and testing the equipment before handling to the client for example you are a contractor and you took a contract from Aramco to install few pumps so once you uh, bring it pumps bring the pumps from manufacturer you install the pumps then you run the pumps and you write the report on running of the pumps as per the requirements given by Aramco and then you uh, make a report and you test the equipment that it is working fine and give it back to the client and the client should approve it then you can hand over the project so commissioning is basically a testing and installing of the equipment correctly so that there is no hassles now following are the che checklist for uh, uh, commissioning the pumping systems pumps in the place and properly grouted grouted means they should be uh, well connected to the base where they are uh, installed like for example uh, sometimes uh, usually the grouting is done with the cement on the base a base with the cement fixing the foundation to the uh, base of the ground anchoring as per the specification pump tags and name plates permanently fixed so you should tag it and name plate should be permanently fixed pump environment should be clean with adequate access to maintenance so you should the, uh, there should be no dirt or there should be no uh, you know something which is polluting near the pumps so you should make make sure that there is no harm done to the uh, pumps due to the environment if there is dirt you should provide cover or something okay and uh, there should be access for maintenance and you should not install the pumps uh, so close or under uh, some th th there is no reach the technician cannot reach you 
so you should make sure there there is access for maintenance system flushing complete and strainers cleaned okay once you test the equipment when you run the pumps there should be some dirt or you got first time you are running right so there should be dirt or there is something will uh, occur so you need to clean it everything and before handing over okay report reviewed for pump flows pressure or head and electrical data all the re readings recordings are being noted temperature pressure and flow gauges sensors installed as per the specifications because every company they have their guidelines and specification or any contractor or client they have specification you have to follow the specification expansion tank expansion tank and expansion tanks verified to be air bound and system completely full of water okay now uh, there is uh, this expansion ta tank should not be air bound there should be no air they should have uh, completely full of water so that there is no uh, cavitation in the pumps okay air vents and bleeds at high points of the system are functional all the vents and bleeds all the valves uh, all the strainers or drains should work properly they should be functional they should work you should test them they should work vibration isolation devices installed properly and from dampers there are some damper pads uh, they should be checked and they are installed properly factory alignment field alignment correct okay there is some alignment done by the factory and also when you install the equipment you should do alignment okay no visible links pump uh, leaks and uh, the pumps uh, pump lubric uh, lubricated all electrical connections are tight motor safety is in place and operable okay and all control devices tubing wiring control system interlocks hooked up are functional so basically this is overall checking of the all the things and making sure that they are uh, perfect so once the client takes the uh, your uh, project work uh, done uh, he's he approves it and uh, there is no hazard in running the plant it can now the client can run the plant now startup and commissioning of compressor now we deal with the pumps similarly we, another rotating equipment compressor okay these are the two rot uh, main rotating equipment like pump and compressor almost similar but the thing they are dealing with is different now in uh, startup and commissioning of compressor what do you have a, comp a compressed air system commissioning is the process of measuring testing and adjusting and documenting the performance as i told you uh, measuring testing adjusting documenting the performance before handing it to the uh, client proper compressor installation and helps uh, and ensure trouble free startup and launch. see if you install correctly you avoid most of the uh, problems like uh, in introduction to maintenance we studied uh, this one bath tub bath tub curve you know bath tub curve in this bath tub curve we studied that the problems or defects are more in installation and manufacturing from the installation and manufacturing they are more in normal life there is no defects very less defects and at the end of the equipment life there are many defects okay so we need to be careful so installation if the installation is perfect for example if it is a perfect installation for the pumps so what will happen the pump will run uh, almost 5 to 10 years without any problem if there is no external problems from the environment okay the thorough inspection and critical review should be done before the installing now commissioning start with the preparation checking the air compressor before installation is critical to its success okay checking everything uh, is critical to its success installation checks installation checks what are they uh, belt properly because uh, most of the compressor they are belt driven okay uh, so the belt should be checked properly the alignment you know belt alignment four point uh, four contact uh, four point contact method for alignment for belt drive okay you know it so you need to align it compressor turns freely you need to check by uh, same it turns freely the uh, shaft rotates and the compressor is running okay by hand okay not with electric current compressor in place and properly anchored ship pallets removed okay 
the packing what you brought the compressor should be removed the power disconnected is uh, okay power disconnect is located within the state of it unit it controls and label okay you should know where to switch off the uh, compressor make for example you started the compressor and you don't know how to switch it off then it will create disaster so you should know if something goes wrong you need to uh, you should be able to reach it uh, within uh, very less time to shut shut it down okay all electric connections are tight okay there should be no loose connections all should be tight and properly isolated okay safety is installed and operational reverse rotation check now again here in compressor they are checking again reverse rotation also they are checking if it is rotate it does uh, it, it should rotate uh, you know okay now what's next? startup checklist now this is the startup checklist for the uh, compressor pull disconnect and lock out switch okay pull disconnect and lock out switch activate disconnect switch proper rotation of motors uh, close receiver valve and start with valve closed let the machine come up to pressure let the check for proper cycling operation check control system check uh, receiver valve open receiver valve sorry open receiver valve so that the compressed air is received so these are the things you need to check for a startup list okay after you done the startup and commissioning the your project installation of the project is complete